Are you platinum or lower? Well, good news. I'm going to be giving away 10 one-hour coaching sessions a week starting October 3rd and finishing when worlds end. This will be done via my Discord to players of any role, any champion who are in platinum or below. So all you have to do is join my Discord, which is linked in the description and at the top of the comments, and then select your rank via the role assignment channel and select the YouTube role as well. And then all you have to do is click enter and more info will be given in the near future via my Discord. So it's essential you join it. One more thing guys 15% off because worlds is coming up and I want to help as many players as possible feel just happy about queuing up there is a 15% sale on my coaching via my website so if you're serious about improving and getting much better at league because you're passionate about it and you care about it and isn't that why we're here then it is even more affordable to do so right now my website just like my discord and patreon where I upload all of my sessions 700 plus on there right now they are linked down below as well now in this coaching session finally to the actual video here this is with Calvin who's around silver bronze North America and essentially here I'm teaching him the core thinking behind challenger jungling and I know this will be super useful for anyone watching I don't care even if you're like master GM like players in those elos don't even know this either so leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to join the discord for the coaching giveaways thanks guys for watching don't be shit back I'm um, interesting here so if I was live coaching you after walls what do you think I would say uh just recall so uh, why, so did, why did you say that Calvin why did you say recall <clears throat> Uh, I get the item advantage. There's nothing really bought with our uh, bot lane, just like mm -hmm. resetting and all that. And I only have my red, really. And by the time I reset, uh, my bot side camps are coming up. Anyway, and I already know this. So I could have just got a, a fire spike. And I know show gas should be heading bot side as well. Very good. So it would have just been an easy get item advantage, which just bigger lead. Very good. Excellent. Completely agree with everything you said. And why is it really nice? So not only for the camp situation bot, for you to go like Krug's Red Raptors, because you know they're upright very soon. Why is mm -hmm. that really nice at this time in the game? Because it puts everything back on the, a nice sequence, uh, right? But that could be like your first clear as well, right? We could say that about Red Krug's Raptors at level 1. Or when you cleared them at 5 minutes. Why at like around 7, 7.30... Is it really nice to clear Krug's Red Raptors in that order? Uh, because you're not pausing to get the uh, the red buff. You're just as soon as the Krugs are up, you're you're just knocking them out, right? So it's just a better, smooth uh, for yes. the timer. So Calvin, that answer would be to the question like, if I was to ask, what's nice about Red Krug's Raptors? Yeah, you know what I mean, like generally, and you're not wrong. But what I'm like really asking about is notice how I said the time. So Red Crux mm -hmm. Raptors doesn't change from one, you know, thirty in the game when you clear red buff or whatever. I guess like you're starting mm -hmm. red, but you get my point. And then when you clear yeah. them again at like four thirty, let's say, and then you clear them again at maybe seven minutes. Why is this yeah. time really nice to clear Krug's Red Raptors? Why in particular this time? Because in is it what is it two two minutes and fifteen, so seven minutes. So it's right after. So you can get rift and then go right back yes uh, exactly yeah you see like how this nice line almost points towards rift mm -hmm. because we're going red krug's raptors at level one to path top right so even though you're clearing mm -hmm. your bot side you're literally clearing bot to go top mm -hmm. so we're clearing krug's red raptors to go top now why do you think let's just say you had walls gromp and blew up as well calvin here let's just say you did mm -hmm. right i'm gonna spawn them i'm a magician why yeah. is it better to still go Krug's Red Raptors into Rift Herald? Because uh, with the red buff, it's easier if a fight breaks out. Because then you have, uh, obviously, the red buff. Mm -hmm. But and after that, I, I wouldn't know. Okay, so what about it? Let, let's think about it then. So if we go here, right? And we go Wolves, Grom, <laughs> Blue, and then we start hitting Rift Herald. What about if the enemy jungler says to themselves, well... My top laner is getting kind of crushed. The Zed has been solo killing my Yasuo. And the enemy Echo could be level 6 here and just hitting Rift Herald. I can't really contest this. So what might the enemy jungler think of doing? Doing their red? Mm-hmm. Right, so he could be... Well, in this game, he started blue, right? So maybe he's going something like this. Mm -hmm. But when he gets top side, and let's just say he finishes his red buff, and he's like, oh my god, Rift Herald's so hard to take, what might he think of doing? Ganking? Yes, so he can. Sure. Well, I want you to think specifically here about 
So we're talking about you doing these three camps, yeah, when Rift Herald is up, compared to these three, right? So every camp is up here. And we've done so this Calvin. He... So we've done one, two, three. Yeah, you're gone. So uh, he could be invading my bot side. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Like after red, yeah. he might think, "Oh my god, top side's so screwed. I need to do something bot." Yeah. You see, and in other games, mm -hmm. like maybe he starts red and he does that. Krugs, red raptors, lovely. And he might think, mm -hmm. "Well, I want to do rift herald because it's so important, but I can't. I literally cannot. Both laners are are screwed, and the enemy jungler is like actually stronger than me as well." So. Mm -hmm. After Raptors, I'm just going to go like this and take his bot side, and all of a sudden, oh my god, it's all gone because you did this. So basically, what you're doing though, Calvin, from pathing or getting rid of the bad side of the map is you're actually just getting rid of counterplay the enemy jungler might have in the future. So if you wanted to go to Dragon and you've got Gromp, Wolves, and Blue up, you can quite simply yeah, just go Blue, Gromp, Wolves into Dragon. Yeah. And if you do dragon and the enemy jungler's like, oh my god, he's on dragon, let me go over. Oh, they're all gone. Wait, what? You see? That, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, so you're just getting rid of, like, potential counterplay. But don't think about it like that. It's literally like, well, I, I, that, that is, like, kind of the reason we do it. But, like, think about it. Look, I want to go here, so I'm going to get rid of the opposite side of the map. I want to end up mm -hmm. here, so I'm going to get rid of the opposite side of the map. So if you want to Go bot lane early game from level one, you would start blue, right? If you yeah. want to go top, like in this game, that's why we start red. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, no. I'm with you. So recalling here is just amazing because you have the Krugs Red Raptors into Rift Herald clear and it just looks so, so juicy. But you can see here like how it's a little difficult taking these camps and already like it's 740, like going to be 750 by the time you finish these. So you're actually going to be late for Rift Herald, you see? Yeah. Like, if you base, that is, of course. So if you were, like, Sork Shoes, base, Amtone, whatever, you'd actually be late here for Rift. Yeah? Also mm -hmm. here, like, you even said, Calvin, that Cho'Gath should be bot because he started a blue buff. So again, mm -hmm. there could have been a ping here. Yeah, like, like you said here. Yeah. So it's not that he's playing aggressive, Calvin, right? It's not this. It's just the fact he is bot. That's all you have to ping. That's all you have mm -hmm. to ping, man. Whether he makes the gank or not is up to him, right? Now, you have a reaction here that you kind of have to do. Whether they die or not, it doesn't matter. But when you see Cho'Gaff here, this is great, by the way, how you look at him. But what do you do here, or what should you do? Should I go counter gank? Do you think you can get there I, in time? I, I don't. That's why I, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I should have tabbed, though. I sure completely, I completely agree. You can't count against this, right? How far away do you think that is, Calvin? At least ten seconds. I, Good. The play I agree. Is by then. Right. Yep, completely agree. Right. So Chogaf is making a play, bot. Most people here would just go and hit Raptors. I was just coaching someone as well, actually. Like not, I think it was yesterday or the day before, who literally was in this exact same situation, and instead of doing what he should have done, he actually hit Raptors. So hitting Raptors is bad. There's a better move. What do you think it is? So go to his Raptors, right? Yeah, so you can go to his top side, but I always like um say, Calvin, that his top side here, yes, it's nice to take, but you would only do that if you know 100% you can take something else on top of that. Okay. So what, just run straight to uh, Harold? Exactly. Because I know he's locked up, probably going to follow the dragon. That's it, yeah. You just run straight to Harold here. Now, yes, you could do Raptors, Red, Krugs, and the funny thing is, is because your top lane is doing well, right? I think mid's doing well. So there is potential for you here just to take his top side and say, look, I've got Rift Herald whenever I want here. But what about mm -hmm. if the Lux recalls and runs here with the Cho'Gath, the enemy support? Yeah. You see what I mean? Like how it's, it, it makes it a little bit more flippy here. So you can just go to Rift Herald, and if you still think he's bot for whatever reason, maybe he ruddle, like waddles off into the river and it's clear he's going to do dragon, then after you take Rift Herald, by all means, go take these. Mm -hmm. But Rift Herald is the number one. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, no. I'm with you on that. Look at this, Calvin. You've sense. done the... Look at this. You've done the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the bad play. <laughs> The suboptimal move, man. But that's all good. Like, now we understand, right? So, mm -hmm. and yeah, basing here as well, like, it, 
it gives Cho'Gath time, see what he's doing here, to actually, like, run to Rift Herald and protect, protect it if he, like, wanted to, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 